Alright guys, so right now I'm in the process of taping up my mower because I'm getting ready to paint it and as you can see it's a pretty straightforward job. I taped up the the, the gears 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, neutral, reverse, all that stuff. So you can see I taped up the sticker on the back and I just did a, a little bit down here just to see how it would look and I also painted the back of the seat because I was grinding the last guy's stickers off and they got uh, it, it took the paint off with it too and I saw it was steel under there so I figured I'd just grind some more of the paint off and currently what I have done is I have well as you can see the gears uh, this like the, the logo right there and the side decal which says it's basically a 12 horsepower and uh, 38 inch deck. See all the way down there. I covered up most of the other logo, and I started taping off um, the front of the grill, at least the black plastic part, because so I want to leave that black for uh, contrast. And I have these screws in here because I'm gonna paint those, so it's green against the black. Um, piece over here. I don't know where it is. I lost it. But anyways, I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to start painting. Alright guys, so I'm done taping it up. You can see all the decals are covered. And uh, the dashboard. That was one of the harder parts because I had to wrap it around everything and over the key slot. It's also a good idea to take a key out. And another thing to think about is on the inside, like right up front, you can see these uh, this stuff right here. That's gonna let paint in. It's gonna get all over your engine, and uh, you don't really want that. No, these I don't. You might want the uh, engine with green lines on it. And also, what I'm gonna do is tape these up too, because I don't want anything coming down on the top of the engine. So, I'm going to get a tripod, and I'll be back, and I'll start painting it for you guys. Alright guys, I am back, and I did a little bit of painting while you guys were gone. Up on here and on the side. A little on this side, but I'm still going to show you guys the hood. Just getting a little bit of any dust that's settled on it off right now. You're going to want to have long, light strokes that overlap each other. And I'm going to be going on this way down the hood. So let's get to it. Okay guys, I finished putting the first coat on, and this is what it looks like right now. Looking pretty good. The blue you see there is the tape. I didn't think I had to spray that all over. It's a semi-gloss Hunter's Green. And I'm probably, I still need to get down there my can ran out of paint. But, anyways, I, need, I still need to scuff that up though too, I think. But it's a, it's a Hunter's Green semi-gloss. I'm going to get some black accents on there just to make it look even nicer. I got some black trim right here that goes on there so that should look, make it look a little bit nicer also. 
Uh, the seat, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that right now. Uh, prob I might get some new fabric and cover it. And I also need to finish painting the underside of the seat. I haven't done that yet. It's still kind of dirty. I need to paint in there some more too, but I think it's going to look pretty darn good. You can see I have some, uh, some, uh, crap, I'm forgetting the name right, the word right now. But it's, uh, dribble, running, running a little bit. And, uh, I'm probably going to, like, even that out with some sandpaper before my second coat. My second coat's going to be, uh, another light coat. And just, uh, cover everything again, get another layout later on there. This is, uh, paint I'm using. Rust rustoleum. Oh, it's a satin, not semi gloss. Never mind. It's uh, an enamel, and it has the stop rust to stop rust stuff in it too. So it should uh, prevent any areas of metal that had a little bit of rust on it, like right down there. I ground that down to bare metal, and like right up there too. I did some bare metal on it also, uh, so I should stop it from rusting. Uh, but yeah, that's about it right now. When I'm done painting, I'm probably gonna take a wire brush and get the paint off of the foot pads just so they're a contrasting black. Yeah, I need to get the tie rod, get the front axle, and the tie rod end things right there. Uh, I am probably gonna paint the wheels black. But I'm not going to paint those because I'm going to get rid of those at some point and get some bigger tires. And that's it for now. I'll bring you guys back later for the second coat. Alright guys, I'm going to start my second coat. I'm going to be starting on the hood and this time I'm going to be going this way because I don't want to have... Because if there, there doesn't look like there's any lines, but I don't want there to be the chance of being in so also I went over some places that had a little bit of uh, drips on it and smoothed those out so that should be looking pretty good Alright guys, I'm done painting it, at least for now, I might decide to do some stuff later. So, it's uh, the Hunter Green again, like I said before. I got the front plate back on, I found that. I think the black and the green contrast nicely. I painted the front axle. I mean, I didn't buff it or anything, so I'm not sure how tough, that, tough that's going to be. So I'll probably need to touch that up later, and there's some other places that I need to touch up too. Like where there's some grease. I didn't paint all of it red as you can, or green as you can see. Just because I don't feel like cleaning all that grease off of there. And painting it just for it to get worn off, so. And right down in there you can see that there's grease there too. I got kind of tired of cleaning all that crap off of it because it's a pain in the ass to be honest uh, like I said I'm gonna have to clean up these because I want them black not green uh, down there it's just kind of a big screw up because like there's uh, there's some rust there that I didn't get before with the wire wheel on the angle grinder so it's kind of bubbly and the paint's kind of thick right over there but oh well also right there there's some stuff we need to touch up probably gonna get one of those uh, foam chemical brushes and uh, another can of paint just sprayed in there and use it touched up with the brush uh, I believe that is it I still got some tape there I need to take off I'll get that in a second uh, and I did notice that when the I, I peeled the tape off. I, I'm not sure if this is 
all this stuff is just painted on. I think it is, or some sort of other thing like thing like that. I'm not sure, but because the the tape kind of pulled some of it off, right? Like all up in here. So I may come back with uh, some black paint and just paint this all just solid black, except for. Uh, the key information over there just because it, it could be helpful. Yeah, I'm probably going to touch up the late engagement thing because the screen here but not here. Uh, the steering wheel column, it's green most of it, but I'm completely out of the green paint. So, that's it's going to have to stay like that for a while. Down on the brake pedal, everywhere except for right here, I believe is covered up. Just really close to the pad. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna undercut the tractor, because then I have to get rid of all that grease and dirt and shit. And scrub it all down and repaint it, and I don't really want to do that. Yeah, so I'm just about done with this, and I'm pretty happy with the finished result.